vivisection is a Latin word. It means alive and cutting. That's the easiest way to explain it. It involves like, any form of animal testing where the animal's still alive and you're cutting it. Our main concern with vivisection is the scientific issues with it. Due to the vast differences between species, it's not good science to use animals to model human diseases and illnesses. The fact of the matter is, nine out of 10 experimental drugs fail in humans that have worked in animals. So there's still a 10% you know, chance that it will work. And that 10% is what facilities like the University of Otago cling to. They'll cling to those few successes and disregard all of the fails and all of the misleading results that have prolonged humans finding cures and treatments and um, wasted resources and time and lives. I believe that humans should be respecting animals a lot more than we currently are. They are not the same as plants or inanimate objects and yet we are treating them as though they are. They are the same as us. We are animals. Um, just like us, they're conscious, they're sentient, they have thoughts, they have emotions, they have friendships and family bonds, they have memories, they project into the future, they problem solve, they love, they grieve. All those things are not objects. Every animal is someone, not something. And the way we are treating them in our society is not reflecting that. We're stuck in an archaic mindset. We've created a narrative that says it's okay to exploit animals and that narrative needs to be rewritten. You can see by our campaign, by the Stop the Otago Animal Lab campaign, how badly they want to keep us quiet. I mean, we're standing in front of the wall right now where we pinned up 11,358 hearts to represent the thousands of lives that were lost last year at the University of Otago for research, testing and teaching. And within two hours of putting them up, the university had taken them down. So they really do try to cover it up. They, they don't want the public to be talking about it. With this new lab specifically, we didn't actually hear about it being built until May, until the 11th of May this year. So they already had the consents, they already had the plans, and they hadn't made it, pub they hadn't made it public knowledge yet which um, we have a lot of issues with because as far as we're aware some of this 50 million dollars does come from taxpayer money. The University of Otago do receive funding from the government. It's within our right and within our interest to be able to um, have an opinion on this. Our main concern is that they're going to be entrenching animal based research for years to come. The current animal lab is 50 years old so is it going to be another 50 years worth of animal based research? Um, is, is that what they're committing to? We don't want this already outdated, irrelevant and unreliable research method entrenched for any longer than it is. The Netherlands recently um, announced that they're planning on only using non-animal based methods by 2025. So they are the kind of announcements happening in 2016, not hey we're going to invest another 50 years and 50 million dollars into outdated animal based research. Ideally we want the new $50 million animal lab to be stopped and in its place we want a non-animal based research facility to be built. So it's not a matter of us being against the building, we want the building to go up but what happens inside is what we want to be different. We want them to be using non-animal based methods only instead of relying on these old, outdated and irrelevant animal based methods. I think it's important to note that it's, it's not an individual we don't have individual targets on every single researcher that does animal based re research. We're not out to get students who use animals in their degree, who um, have to use animals to get their PhD. We're not personally bagging on anyone or targeting anyone. We have a problem with the whole system. We think the whole system is flawed, the animal model is flawed. Um, so it d there is a lot of restructure that needs to happen. Um, it does. It doesn't help when people think that we are directly targeting them, because we aren't. It's, we're targeting the system, not the people. So the best way people can help us is by following the campaign. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of different events and a lot of different actions. Um, so for each one we want to gain more and more momentum. Uh, the more people we have backing us, the louder our voice is. So if this is something people are passionate about or they want to learn more about, Highly recommend going on our website and learning more. Um, get in touch with us, our email's on the website. Um, sign our petition to stop the Otago Animal Lab. Um, we've got over 11,000 signatures now, so the more we get, the more likely they are to listen. And um, yeah, just get involved as much as you can. Volunteer with NZAVS, 
help with info stools, help with outreach, help with getting the word out there and teaching the public about this mad outdated plan that's happening.